Sound waves are picked up by this wonderful mechanical ear, the microphone, which is really a glorified telephone transmitter. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Think of the roses. So sweet. Uh. Uh. Lifelock.com slash a little baddie. Oh, that, now that's scary. Like... Let's go. Here we are. Good whatever to you. Whenever you are watching this episode of TikTok Around the Clock, the show where we see just what the hell was going on with TikTok Live at two different times around the clock. And today we have some returning favorites and some leftover PSAs from yesterday's episode of co-host auditions with uh, Toddy Boya, where we checked out what was going on with cartoon all-stars to the rescue and it was a bad acid trip as they told us never to take acid which is a proper way to get you not to take acid ever is to start out with a bad trip but today we are taking a bad trip through social media at least that's what i am told by the u.s government that this is a bad trip and i should not be here i certainly am having a fun time going down the TikTok live road and here we are in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. Oh, unfortunately, uh, this I'm getting more screen recording malfunctions. And there were two really fun folks that are just gone. Hopefully, I will be able to feature them on a future episode. But we are starting off with uh, one of our good buddies, uh, Mr. Asian Dad Dance. He has his one move, and he is trying on some hats and dancing in public again. So let's check out, however the hell you pronounce that, dancing in another public place with new moves. Look at him, new moves. Not doing the old running in place. He attempting to run man. Good morning to Annie O'Ryan, who you can catch posting What Is This Game? We'll be checking out Arkham Knight at some point. Andy, the man who had us go down that road, the guest of the show, he's still finishing it off himself. So we will get to that big game at some point. But in the meantime, we are entertained by, well, uh, sure, I'm a peckerwood, but this guy is not a peckerwood. Because looking at the origin of that word, it is a white man that you can call Pecker Woods. So not, nice revealing your new dance moves, sir. Can I introduce myself? I'm your host, Dylan. Three minutes late on that one. Oh, new dance move with this hat? Yep, a little bit of a new dance move. New hat, new dance. It's kind of like a power-up. He puts on a different hat to do a different dance. He is the Mario of dancing. Now this now is friend. our friend Juan Ni, but this is a lady getting hit with a lot of water from a balloon. So either he's expanded out and gotten someone else, or this is the quickest transition I have ever seen. Oh my God! Thank you, Grandma. Oh my God! One, two, three. Oh my God! Back up! She does have the tone. Of Juan no, me God. down. Oh my God! No, my bed. Oh my God! No hat. Oh my God! Oh my God! One, two, here we go. Three, four, five. And six, water seven, is eight, fucking heavy. Nine, ten, one, two, three, I don't know if a lady four, neck can take this. We might see a death oh here God, live on air. Well, live on tape, anyway. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, 
The same phrases he uses. And the, and the same inflection. Happy life, happy life. Here we go. You're fine. I'm putting my money on this one. Oh my god. I think she might have been knocked out unconscious for a quick moment there as she got hit with a whole bunch of heavy ass water. Good morning, Burnt Wine. Nice for you to uh, join us just oh in time God, no, to see bed, this no, I... lady get the shit kicked out of her by some water. I hope you caught that, Bobby Fran. The, uh, Tuan Ni is one of our favorites here. There are some people that do a dunk tank. In fact, let's go back. Let's see that hit of water again. Because it is indeed a very suspenseful, David Collins. Uh, I enjoy this much more. The reverse dunk tank, the dunk tank getting spilled out onto you. So, uh, yeah, I hope all you got it for if you're just joining, if all you beloved chatters missed it, here it comes again. The reverse dunk tank, like 30, 50 pounds of water. This lady is lucky her neck isn't broken. Do you see how lifeless she is for just a moment as just the, the tide has taken her to the bottom of the chair? Oh, my God. W E E wet. <laughs> and it was even more suspenseful while recording this because uh, the raw footage was about 10 minutes. I was like, this is going to blow like now. Need to start recording this right now. So oh this went on God, for no, 10 minutes in the raw. No, no, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, my pet. Taken down Thank you, my two minutes. Wow, wow, wow. That, that's a lie. That, that's a lie. And I have to be picky. I have babies. So it's not our good buddy Wizzy Wiz, but we've got some more. This isn't slow adult speed dating. A lot of slow adult speed dating we see on TikTok speed dating. This is simply awkward adult speed dating. And this went on for a while, a little background. She is a single parent. And there was a guy right before this came on who was just like, uh, nah, not interested in kids. And uh, I typed in smash. But um, as a polyamorous fellow who isn't looking to get tied down, I will be an improvement to your life. Uh, Miss Man, that's her last name. That Miss Man, uh, but yeah, I am not. I am not the uh, stepdad type. Oh, let me try this guy. Except in those videos, stepfather, what are you doing? Let's see what's up with this guy. What's up, bro? Hey, Welcome, Brian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was spamming. How are you doing? Good. Katie? Already apologizing, Brian Baldwin, 50. Uh, women just absolutely love that. That just absolutely gets him wet. And you look like an ugly version of Mike Finazzo, who is a local Baltimore comedian, who is an ugly version of Louis C.K., who is an ugly man to begin with. You are the ugly version of an ugly version of an ugly man, Brian Baldwin. And you are just coming out swinging with this confidence. Uh, sorry, sorry, I spammed. So uh, your weenie got hard, and you're like, uh, uh, I got to spam this. I need to get in here for Katie Man. It's not spamming. Uh, go ahead, guys. Get to know each other. Uh, what are you looking for in age? Um, 27 to, like, maybe 40. Just depends. Like, I'm 31. You fall within that age range. And me at 37, my age range is 27 to 55. And it is from 55-year-old to 55-year-old because uh, I do have quite a youthful, pretty face for a 37-year-old, as freaks some people out. And some 55-year-olds don't look like an old lady. 
Some 55 year olds look like an old lady. So it's a case by case basis. And there are some hot 22 year olds. But uh, yeah, just the uh, generational gap, the uh, mental, all, all that. I should stay away from those uh, 22 year olds. As Michaela knows, those 22 year olds are hot, but we should not be chasing after them 22 year olds. So keep going, ugly version of an ugly version of an ugly man. Okay. I'm from uh, Tennessee. I have kids. Um, I have one kid that is biological, and uh, the other one I am honestly fighting to get back. I have one kid that's biological. I have the other one, which I'm fighting to get back. Oh, okay, so that's your uh, stepdaughter, and you're trying to take your stepdaughter away from her uh, biological mother? This is an odd situation you've got yourself in, ugly, ugly man. Through uh, courts, after the divorce, I'm trying to recollect her, if that makes sense. 22 year olds are hot, but uh, that might sound yes, bad better. of me, but she called me dad. There are those ones that seem wise beyond their years, but just let them keep talking. They will uh, shrink your erection, uh, dry you right up. Those hot, but dumb who appear wise beyond their years. But uh, then yep, 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 yep. I mentioned one recently on the chatting with beloved chatters episode with uh, KB of a uh, 20 year old who I was like, oh, wow, why is beyond her years? And, and she's really sexy. But uh, yeah, she's uh, kept on talking. And it's like, oh, OK, you're very weird. But uh, the youngness is uh, not working in your favor of the weirdness. So. Well, that makes sense for sure. I, I didn't grow. I, I grew up without a mother and a father. So. Uh... Could have waited for an actual physical date for that. Here we are uh, one minute into e e meeting each other, and I don't have a mom or dad. The system yeah. is so bad. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's all good, but that's not what we're talking about, you know. Mm -hmm. So don't bring it up. Don't bring up your sad sack issues quite yet. Like I stumbled upon my childhood trauma yesterday and tried to make it into a joke. Don't just bring it up. And it was relevant to the topic at hand. Paige, uh, what's relevant. your hobbies? Um, I like to cook. Um, I like to hang out with my... You like to cook? Uh, I will be your bull. And Brian Baldwin will be your cuck. Family. Family's a big one. Um, I like to go bowling. Yo. And I like to... Go and remember, a cuck holdress uh, does like her man uh, banging in front of her, a cuck. That implies that the lady is doing the banging uh, in, in front of the boyfriend. So um, cuck old, guy watching, cuck holdress, guy doing stuff. Only back boyfriend, I should say. In the day, you like to what? Make money. Make money. Bobby Fran her heard cuck too. That may have been cook, uh, but uh, you've got to really hit those syllables correctly when you're talking about liking to cock or liking to cook, kind of like a horror movie. Saying a horror movie sounds like we are talking about some horrors. It sounds like a Piper Perry movie when we pronounce horror, horror. I mean, hey, everybody likes to make money. Um... Oh, wait, I think I just uh, talked right over something uh, revealing about her that she did not want to get out. Uh, good afternoon, Isaac Walmart. We have got a sexy mom in the upper right corner and uh, three generations down of an ugly man in the lower right with no confidence. Back in the day, you like to what? Make money. Make money. I mean, hey. Every she likes to make money. Sounds like a stripper to me. Everybody likes to make money. Possibly an OnlyFans, but someone specifically, I like to cuck, I like to blah, 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 I like to yada, 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 I like to make money. That sounds like a stripper to me. Money. Mm -hmm. um, with my family, I only have my grandma and my mom, you know, coming back. 
other than that, besides my son and, you know, the daughter I'm trying to recollect. Uh, There's got to be a better wording for your non-biological, not non-biological daughter you're trying to recollect as if she was uh, some type of fee that you were collecting. Uh, sounds like his mom came back into the scene eventually. I grew up without a mom or dad. We did establish. Uh, sounds like uh, mom was off uh, doing some stripper shit, doing some hooker shit, and eventually grandma got her back on the scene. So grandma has been mom the entire time. So mom is more like a big sister. I don't have much of a family. I'm kind of searching for that. Yeah, broken, as you could say. But uh, I know this is random as hell, but you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. I don't think. Just keep on drying her up, sir. As you talk about, uh, I don't have much of a family. I mean, you're beautiful and gorgeous. You can tell her that she's hot without seeming so uh, desperate and sad. I think I have a chance, if that makes sense. I have a... And completely dry. It's a desert now. I don't think I have a chance. Then you don't. You had barely a chance before, and now no chance. Super. That's what you've got. Like low confidence level. I know that's bad to say. That's a red flag. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's rewind a little bit as he is just wooing her pants on. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. I don't think I have a chance. If that makes sense, I have a super like low confidence level. I know that's bad to say that's a red flag, but get yeah. to this, Brian. we talked about this, bro. Remember? And I don't want to like oh. waste your time. Small PP energy, indeed, Sheila aliens. If he had a big old cock, that would help make up for his abandonment issues, as it did for me. Hey, <laughs> this guy. Uh, absolutely the the worst, G-Rob. I would uh, sooner take a uh, slow adult than someone who is of, of this guy's nature. And we heard our host Sammy there. We've talked about this, Brian. Brian's been on here before, uh, just completely tearing himself down and making himself more unsexy by the moment while starting out very ugly and getting unsexier with every utterance coming out of his mouth. And, but you aren't my type. You're very sweet, but you aren't my type. And I wish you the best, though. Yeah, pass. Okay. Oh, hey, Brian. I mean, you I mean, you I mean, came up, though, you know? You did your I best. Mean, and I, um, you shouldn't be unconfident, though, in yourself either. Yeah, though. don't ever feel uncomfortable. Sweet but ugly. Uh, nice guys finish last for a reason. Because uh, you're little fucking wieners. You need to have some personality other than just nice being your personality and very much seeking att attention and approval. You need to come up with an internet show and uh, pretend to be doing it for the laughs. And then you get that approval. Under oh my God. Uh, I work with a guy uh, and he is very much seeking approval. He's, uh, he said this to another human adult uh, that when he does a good job, he would like to be complimented on it and uh, praise uh, if he was a dog, it would make his tail wag. And I was like, no, 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 no. You do not say that to another human adult. That that I, I like praise. If I was a doggy, you would see my tail wag when, when you give me praise. Yeah, don't, don't. Even, bro, even if this, le like... And he is a trainable. He's not particularly good at his job, so he does not get a lot of praise. That dog's tail is not wagging. You know, even if she had not have said that to you, you should have still been confident in yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. For example, you know? I mean, cool. if I'm your type, then you know what I mean? It's You're going to find your match, for sure. You have a... Bullshit. Really good personality, like, and I'm sure... Stop lying, Katie. At least be honest with this man. Of every single syllable out of your mouth uh got me from not wet to dry 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 everyone says that but you really do and you you will find your match yeah all right my guy just wait in the queue again okay brian all right all right bro he can find his match if he finds a manipulative woman whose first goal 
is to control someone because, oh boy, is that going to be level one manipulation and control with uh, our ugly version of Mike Finazzo, who is an ugly version of Louis C.K. Yeah, that's the thing, y'all. We need to be more confident in ourselves, you know? Like, yeah, confident, stupid. We shouldn't have self-doubt, like, oh, she's too good for me or, oh, he's too good for me, you know? Like, we just have to just be willing to just do it, man, and just being confident. For sure. That's how life is. So here's something uh, that we can have a good laugh at without laughing at somebody i might have that a little too loud there we go uh, yeah i should get a co-host for this it'll help me judge the, the levels more thank you david collins uh my, my impressions uh I, I feel like when i go for them they're a five to a seven and i've said that that troy mcclure one a lot hi i'm troy mcclure you may remember me Hi, I'm Dylan. You may remember me from such TV shows as Midwestern Customer on Superstore and Man with Axe in Head on whatever the hell that Rashida, Rashida Jones, Rashida Jones silly comedy was. We've seen Jumbo uh, before, and he does talk. I don't like the fact that Jumbo talks because the killer clowns did not talk and that's a fun name jumbo's clown room also a strip bar in los angeles i served flash hamburgers there at its record release party once if dj electra is here she is getting run off real quick with this asmr nice blowjob sound Mm -hmm. Nice and wet. Just the way we like it. Oh, some noise happened. Oh, no, no. W w was that your ringtone? You have to turn your ringtone silent while you're doing blowjob sounds. Blaming... <laughs> that it's not blowjob sounds. Spotify no le ha pagado. Gracias, Yitlali. Honestamente, más Amazon. Looks like she was going to fish hook herself. Good. I've become very uh, much better of not doing mouth noises. And here is someone whose whole thing is mouth noises. Early on, the mouth noises in the live streams, they were a bit grating. I'm better at the mouth noises, but Ivy there, mouth noises is her whole thing. Yeah, we can try it. Where are you from? California, you? I just got back from California. Oh, where'd you go? LA, East LA. I grew up in East LA. Ooh, chickens. I went to Ybor City, and they had chickens running around, as does East L.A. Oh, oh fun, wild. Yeah. I can see it. You got the style, yeah. She has got uh, names. That, that must be her gimmick. Either Ray is her man, or uh, you tip her a galaxy, and she will write Ray in Sharpie on her chest there. I also like to write on women's chest, uh, but using a white coloration rather than a black Sharpie. And usually I would cut these out. I was up in the pauses there, but uh, what a fun little face she had. Yeah, you. Nice place to pause to get a little bit of uh, TikTok fuck up a re. I was up in the mountain. Yeah. I went to California Elementary. California Elementary? In East LA. <laughs> That's right, Isaac Walmart. Uh, uh, Ray wasn't able to color her chest white uh, like he wanted to, uh, so he just autographed her chest at the end of the uh, session there. I went there. You didn't drop out, did you? No, that was my elementary. Yeah, I didn't drop out from elementary. Sounds like she uh, dropped out of high school, the way she phrased that, doesn't it? 
<laughs> Are you wearing contacts? What color is your eyes? Red. Oh, that's creepy. Anyone who wears contacts. You just slided over like eyes. that? What happened? Yeah. I want to get contacts, but I'm scared to like get them dirty and scratch my eye. Pyrofoam said he cute too. You are cute. Oh, thanks. Here, let me. Ooh, low standards. Nice. Karina Garcia has some low standards. Have I got a guy for you? His name is Brian. And um, actually, that would be a fun little matchup of Karina, who's finding this guy cute uh, with our speed dating failure from the last segment. Are you in a car? Yeah, it's my home. It's your home right now? Yeah. It's just hey, easy. you got to do what you got to do. I travel, though. Okay, that's what's up. It's, uh, yeah, your your home is on wheels. So, yeah, you, you travel. And that is a better way uh, to claim that you're not just outright homeless. Uh, I'm in my wanderer phase, but look at me. I've got me a house. He is in his wanderer phase all the time because uh, his home is on wheels. Yeah, so it's easy. Yeah, you're cute. Look at you. Because the cat's the only guy who knows where it's at. Everybody's picking up on that feline. I did call her a just a rabbit kind of lady. Now a square with a heart makes you wish you weren't born every time he plays. But a square is a mouth noise for you. Sorry about that. that music bright to the muted that. I've heard some corny birds who tried to sing, but a cat's the only cat. TikTok always thinks I'm not a real human. Who wants to dig? TikTok doesn't think she's a real human. Um, but as long as you can uh, do stuff. Nah. Along and oh fuck! I gotta bring uh, our 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 good buddy Duke Phillips in for that. That big old failure of a joke. It stinks. It. <laughs> where's the joke? I know we're on the air, but where's the joke? And once again, that gives me an opportunity to plug Successful Failures with the AB season of The Critic next week on Successful Failures with Secret Snake. And give my time when everybody wants to be a cat. Square with the horn makes you wish you were born every time he plays. Come on, guys, 40 seconds with a swear in the eyes. You can set music right to the game and day. Everybody wants to be a cat. And the, the girl on the left is kicking her ass in this competition. She's not really doing anything. But her fans are like, you are the winner. That was the end of that song. Guys, we have 50 seconds left. And... <laughs> I love Lola's voice. I love her look. Big dog with the follow. Welcome. But the gifters are loving the sexiness of the lady on the right more. You, no way, bro. Stop, 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 stop. No. No! We actually won? Nobody on my side can recharge. That's, That's a cool. prank. Oh, all the simps done simped already for oh, Lola. Oh, they're, they're out of simp cash. Please believe me. I'll never do you no harm. And here what? we have it's another three, attempted singer. Two? And Gosh. Siri. I would give... Nothing. Let me concentrate. It would be like the simps on the last one with the girl doing nothing. This Frankie guy trying to sing, trying to show off his talents. But I am a simp for Siri. I was kidding. Oh, darling. Serena has a sexy voice. She's doing weird stuff on the internet. And she's got windshield wiper hands. Edward windshield wiper hands helps out on the rainy nights. I'm singing it, man. Oh, darling. Not a bad voice, uh, but uh, I'm a Lola guy myself. Look at your Lola. A, uh, bar. 
in a nightclub. Frankie, not bad. But after coming from Lola first, and you've got sexy Serena on the left hand side. So uh, there you got me uh, spin twice in a row once for Lola, once for Serena. Panels from my ceiling. And now that's the only other solution I can come return. To one I of have... our favorites. This was running a little short. As I said, the screen recording malfunctioned. So this is a deleted scene of Ashton Fay or yoga pants but and a certain part of her camel. Know. That seems like a lot. Um, every time you go live, I see her live on my FYP. That's probably because you've chatted in with the live stream. So now TikTok thinks that you want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> uh, not she is strips. a weird artist girl, too. Like you she could get two, paint stuff as you can see with her art supplies. Light. And always in take yoga lumen. pants. The strips are low lux. Um, but I have these tiny little panels. Um, I have two of them, but they're just on like little tripods right now because it's the only tripod that I have. But we have two of these guys. I'm, and then we have... Two soft boxes and a ring light. Move, move a little back. On us right now. Like you think that would like be enough the light. There we go. So it has to be the placement. LOL, your live stream went on it's my fine. FYP. The, the <laughs> lighting's fine. It may be different, Ashton, uh, but hello, just hello. stay we're right to there. Right now, because I changed everything. If you can't tell, we're using a different camera. I'm running the stream off my computer instead of running it off my phone. So. Back a uh, bit. Oh nope. Yeah, you're fine. We're we're still we're, we're 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 troubleshooting right now. It could be just as simple as turning up the ISO on my my camera too. It could literally just be that simple. Now that I know that the stream runs dark, I'm hypnotized compared to what I see on my computer. Could Ooh, be that watch. simple. Could be that simple. Give me a clip. That might be that might be all we need. All right. Did we procrastinate long enough? Oh, oh uh, I we, think so. We did some type of astinate uh, while you were talking there. <laughs> I think we procrastinated quite a bit. Not dark at all. It is, though. It is. I can tell it is. I can tell it is. Unless maybe... Both me and Italian Stallion are fans of the camels. And now going from the other side to the other side, from a fitty to a fatty. Anyone uh, want to be crushed? Because uh, she can give you thick, thick Hawaii. So a uh, Hawaiian lass. And she's a gamer girl. Not a flat so, but I would want uh, uh, bigger knockers on a bigger girl. That's the best part of, of being a, a, a fatty, is fat titties and a fat ass. And some girls, it just doesn't go there. It's unfortunate. Solid B cup. And uh, yeah, you don't, you don't need the watch or the clip to hypnotize me. You do have a lava lamp effect going on with your nice little chubs giving me a chub. And those aren't rabbit ears. We had a uh, Lola bunny, and now, now we have a uh, thick raccoon. She's been eaten out of the trash and is a nice, nice, healthy girl. I don't like her as much as the, uh, the, the girl that was uh, the, 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 the big booby one, I believe, from last week. She had the fat in all the right places. sensual eyes you are humping me with those eyes as well as your pelvis so very well done thick hawaii stay 
stayed on thick a while, even for a little while, didn't we? Are you the main event segment? I think I have one more segment after this. Yes, I do! It's our good buddy doing his dance. He was trying out new dances, and oh, that's not a that's not a CGI banana. He's really wearing a banana peel out in public. She was uh, qu quite serious because uh, she was seducing us with those eyes. She was doing a good job with me, G-Rob. Uh, those seductive eyes. And now, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Starting and ending with Asian Dad Dance doing his signature dad dance in public. Nope, not a green screen. He really is out in public. We've seen him do this in different public places. And he was doing... Yep, th there, there you go. He moved the camera sh showing that he is out in public with a banana peel on his head doing his favorite dance. It was the first time we saw him do a different dance at the beginning of this program, trying on new hats. Yes, yeah, Sheila Aliens, that was a 422 a.m. recording uh, right before I passed out and went to sleep. So, uh, and I, as I mentioned, I did miss out on uh, two really good ones. Usually I am asleep at that time, but uh, since I was not uh, asleep, uh, I was like, oh, I do need to get some recordings and I'm not uh, sleepy yet. Oh, by, by the end of that, yeah. It, as you saw, the timestamp at the beginning was closer to three. Around 4.30, I was tired. So that was uh, right at the end. I do move those around a little bit to get a little bit of um, flow to it. Uh, but yeah, around uh, 3 a.m. it started. Around 4.30, I was ready for fucking bed. And yesterday, we had some uh, PSA, some public service announcements. And I pulled a bunch of them. So here is our middle section where I usually highlight a singular TikToker. We are going to highlight some of the old PSAs from back in the day. Here's the Super Friends and Superman hating smokers. Uh-oh, young Tommy is smoking a cigarette, creating his own smog cloud. <laughs> Tommy's up to bat. And he's smoking it like shit. You don't know how to inhale, Tommy. Tommy smokes because he thinks it makes him look grown up. But watch what smoking does for him. <coughs> that coughing is one thing. It keeps him from playing his best. You're out! Don't smoke. How uh, quick? We, we didn't see that ball get into it the first base pit. He must have been slow AF. It makes you a loser. Except in the 80s, where it makes you cool... So, Star Trek, the animated series, also got in on this. Pay attention, Secret Snake, to uh, what, what Tommy does. I mean, you want to take notes of what Tommy does and what Tommy doesn't do. And what's really fun about the Star Trek animated series having a public service announcement is that it was the original cast reunited. Log of the Starship Enterprise, star date 5943.7. Captain Kirk, this is Lieutenant Uhura. Mr. Spock is ready to patch in. Go ahead, Mr. Spock. I'm on the surface of the destroyed barbarian planet now, Captain. Destroyed? What do you see, Mr. Spock? The surviving inhabitants are in a dreadful condition. It seems they can't control their limbs, and their minds are dull and useless. Fascinating. Dirty fucking hippies went and tripped on a whole new planet. They seem to be in a state identical to that curious 20th century Earth disease called... Hard drug abuse. I suspect it has destroyed all meaningful life on this wretched planet. A tragic find, Mr. Spock. As a Vulcan, I find the need for hard drugs to be totally illogical. But as a half-human Spock, surely you can appreciate this. Then how the else are you going to talk to fourth-dimensional beings, Spock? You are the one not being logical, Spock. Sure, uh, I can see how marijuana is Ill illogical to you. But uh, a lot of us are fans of that. But LSD, not illogical. I am trying to talk to fourth dimension beings. I am in Flatland, and I cannot talk to those beings in the dimension above me without some LSD. She had the suffering that hard drug abuse causes. 
we can only hope that other civilizations will not make the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, G. Rob was also fascinated by Tommy sliding into first base. The, uh, there, I just wanted to get another look at that of Tommy very clumsily sliding into first base, and we do not see the throw to first. The, the guy at first just has the ball. Keeps him from playing his best. You're out. Don't smoke. <laughs> you stink, Tommy. <laughs> So we do have the absolute king of the PSAs, uh, the G.I. Joe, more you know. And Bobby Fran absolutely will not be taking drug advice from someone that bangs every green alien chick he meets. You do need to be discerning with the green alien chicks. I think some of those green alien chicks just had gangrene uh, and they they were just about to uh, fall into pieces they had um, leprosy, but um, made no difference to Kirk. Mom, know you're cooking? No, no one's home but me. She'll know now. Fire! Call the fire department! <laughs> I love how quickly that advanced. Does mom know you're cooking? She'll know now. Fire! Cooking? No, no one's home but me. She'll know now. Fire! Call the fire department! Not from in there! Walter! If there's a real fire in your house, your first job is to escape immediately. Fire spreads quickly. Call the fire department from... You forgot to tell them to get low. That's where the smoke isn't. Outside the house. From a neighbor's phone! You got it. You're both safe. Your advice really hit home. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. His advice hit home, which you no longer have, because you had to go and cook without mom knowing. And here is a classic, a Stranger Danger from G.I. Joe. Your mom uh, had an accident. I'll uh, take you to her. Uh-oh. Look, Wild Bill. Who was that? Some stranger, he said. Sexy mustaches, even in the 80s. And he, he was ready to do it. Uh, he was absolutely about to jump in that car. And the, Mr. Stranger Danger here, Stranger Dan, saw the G.I. Joe coming. I gotta get out of here. I'll uh, take you to it. Uh-oh. Look, Wild Bill. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Some stranger. He said Donnie's mom was hurt. I didn't know if I should go with him. Well, just don't do what a stranger says. Check it out with an adult you know. Remember, a stranger can mean danger. Now I know. And a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. You are sending the wrong message, G.I. Joe. Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. And I, I was going to go to the second segment, but uh, Bo Bobby Fran does uh, lead into one more uh, PSA. In a burning house, uh, Bobby Fran wants to let us know the first job is to grab the drugs. You're going to need them. You're going to be very sad that you just burned down your house by making a quesadilla. I have no idea how that happened, but uh, your house is gone. So, yeah, get low. Get them drugs. As these kids know. Bobby, my stomach hurts. Oh, I'll give you some of Dad's medicine. It's real strong stuff. Bad. A prescription for danger. Doc! Never take medicine without a grown-up present. You could do more. He is a smart boy. He he learned it from Dad. I learned it from you, Dad, to take the opiates and the fent. Arm the good. What should we do? If you can, wait for your parents. Or if it's serious, ask a neighbor for help. Hey, Mom's home. Now you'll get help. And now we know what to do next time. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! So mom would have walked into them free basing so that she would have came home to a uh, fun little uh, high kids in the process of getting high. And I hope you're still here, Isaac Walmart. We have got the return of Bianca Alexander. She is uh, this is this is what she does. A uh, kid looks like an adult. It, actually, uh, let's let's before we get to Bianca Alexander doing her thing. Yep, those are some old-looking kids. Y you would think that they could animate some kids, but it's very much like the uh, 18-to-look-younger roles in Hollywood. 
look, if we get some cartoon characters that are above the age of 18 to play these kids, then we don't need a cartoon teacher on set. And that saves us a bunch of money. And uh, Bianca Alexander, good to see you again. We missed you last week. You don't have on your tight shirt and your tight pants, but you do have a mirror now. I don't, I don't think you had a mirror last time. So we got Bianca Alexander dancing uh, with a mirror. So we get the knockers and the bootay. The news, Isaac Walmart. The second segment is like poetry too. It rhymes. Bianca will be back. Very much like that chubby girl was seducing us with those serious eyes. Bianca seducing us with that smile, with those eyes, with bouncing boobies, all ready for bed already. And she appears to have a, a pit butt, not a fat butt. I do like a fat butt, but she's got some fat titties on that thin frame. So, um... I don't know how to uh, trigger the fireworks. Sometimes the fireworks happen. There we go. Thank you, fireworks. Fireworks for some pretty dancing. She can shake that booty. That, that nice... Booty. Hit, hit, hit. Except for the titties. Pat, your fat knows where to go. And the sexy saxophone continues with some shadow puppet stripper. As for booty, and I get me booty. It is the ha two hands impersonating a fat booty. Those hands can fuck. Look at them move. Unfortunately, I know too much that these aren't a lady hand, lady's hands. So stop giving me a boner with with your stripper hands, man. Shadow Ace. And we do have our good buddy, uh, Mr. Blue Sky, in here as well. This is not uh, the song by I'm Mr. Set. Blue Sky. That'll be coming up next. But we do have another returning sexy gal. The life of Elena G. Beauty. The sexiest paraplegic I've ever seen. I'm not at the end of the road of being sick. I'm not at the end of the road of my sick mind and what to do with your lack of arms. So I do have Two armless girls doing makeup on my TikTok that I will absolutely miss if this gets outlawed here in the U.S. Hope to see you somewhere, Elena G., applying those makeup tips with your feet. Her heart tattoo almost looks like a Star Trek tattoo. The music's cheering me up, though. It's like... It's like a vibe, you know? She likes the sax. Actually, she's listening to early 2000s hip-hop, which is my favorite hip-hop, because that's when I was in high school. Early 90s hip-hop is fun, but um, I really enjoy the, the popular music of when I was in high school. I think everyone does. That's pretty. It, go it goes pretty good with the yellow shirt. Yes, there is our buddy, Mr. Blue Sky, 
the saxophone is over and now on to some more electronica type from our good buddy mr blue sky it does accessorize very nicely anything goes with that nice rack of hers but the yellow uh, uh on yellow nicely done Those beautiful bur perky breasts. Um, go with I have glasses on. that look similar to those. Well, not really, because those are a little colored. But the makeup continues put... with Tasha Carolina, and she does do the full body makeup. So it, she has uh, painted a uh, Johnny Depp face over her face and glasses her whole on, body a glare. painted so on. So what that does as is well. it takes away from the illusion of this look. So these require you to see everything, every feature in order for it to work. Because I'm painting someone else's features on top of mine, even their eye shape. If I have something on that obstructs that, it just cu cuts the whole illusion. So that's what, parlay! <laughs> also, I have a really small face, so glasses are usually really, really big on me. <laughs> You're much smaller too, glasses are bigger. Connie Depp uh, looking very hot. And she's even taking this as far as the teeth. If you notice, her teeth are fucked up, and that's not her natural teeth. She fucked Those glasses up that I have, yeah, they're, they're big. I have a small face. Richard, thank you for the follow. Poo, poo, pee, pee heads. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Donnie. Thank you for the roses. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Miles Taylor, for the follow. Yes, 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 7,000. Keep tapping, you guys. I'm just going to do some touch-ups on the body painting and probably on the glasses, too. Yes, more body. What do I use for the teeth? I use the Mayron Tooth Effects. It's, it's a tooth paint. It comes in black. I think it comes yeah, in I've green. On uh, on set, uh, when they had to ma make people look like meth heads, and I, I believe it was like a mouthwash that they just uh, and uh, made their teeth look fucking gross. It comes in like a nicotine stain color. Let's see. I should have got some of that too for him, but no shade. No shade. No shade towards him. Can you brown the bed to complete the look? That's disgusting. <laughs> well done, beloved chatter. Asking her to brown the bed to complete the look. And yeah, but she was comprehending that as she was reading that. She wasn't quite getting it till the end no, there. No shade. No shade. No shade towards him and i did get, get rid of the comments so we could see this outfit better that was painted on her body so that that is a cool outfit so we missed that very funny beloved chatter can you brown the bed to complete the look that's disgusting that's just, roger thank you for sharing the live thank you odds shannon didn't notice the clothes were painted to you said so thank you yes they are so that's the outfit that i decided to mimic very well done, beloved. 2.14159265389793238468. It's obviously taken Will from Smith, 1 p.m. on Pi Day, March the 14th. Day, uh, and thank you for the heart. I need to do my taxes. That's our first gift of the day. Is my birth myth. Thank you so much for the hi there. Saying hello to the words, speaking of dirty fucking hippies, the words to always hear to encourage and build. And you thank you for the heart pump as well, wordsmith. Thank you for the disco. Ooh, ooh. We're a disco duck now, and thank you for the duck. I need to do a little bit more of practice for that disco duck. Uh, Donald Duck impression, uh, but um, a, a solid six, seven on that. Yeah, yeah. I used to be better at that. I'd be at a point eight or a nine. We're going to ride the lightning like Metallica in here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the lightning bolt as well. Disco Duck and Rise of Lightning boom, 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 are not boom, boom, conducive together. Room, Choose a yeah, genre. Are we going metal bag. or are we going Thank disco? Let me start with my live say word, Smith. I really appreciate you. And I'm sending you love. Oh, and we're getting some roses in here too. Because every rose has a thorn. Just, just like every routine. night has a thorn. Or a jukebox. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Live action jukebox. How are you doing today? 
I think its colors are fucked up. Oh, you're sending me some roses. Thank you so much. Thank you for the roses, words, man. Words. And this is more of... They're always here. And they're always clear. Make us have no fear. We stand and we steer through life. colors. Ohio Eggman. And that is a... What's with the face emoji? A home-built Metal Sonic. Metal Ivo Robotnik. I mean, no. <laughs> it is Metal Ivo Sonic. We'll but I really metal don't Sonic. use my middle name for anything. I wonder if they sell Metal Sonics. No, they Mario have is an inferior life form. But he would rather build his own Metal Sonic from scratch. You are a Jedi of Sonic. Do you have a Metal Sonic too? Of all the things Chris Chan came up with, we never introduced Metal Sonic too. It's an oversight on his part. Last time I checked, you don't like Dr. Eggman out of cosplay, so he doesn't come in here out of cosplay often. Apparently the fans of this guy don't like him when he's not full-on Eggman. But getting that side of his face, you're looking pretty Eggman even when you're not Eggman. My name is not Metro, it's Metal. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But I still love chicken nuggets. Oh, some chicken nuggies. Are are you so, really um, the, uh, someone we know from the Devilverse? The you're chicken nugget yes. fan? Is that your merch? Well, it is now. It's Howie Mandel and not CGI, uh, not, not AI Howie Mandel, as we saw before. His live you, show, how he does said, stuff. Like your shirt. And then immediately, how he fell to pieces? No, Andy to, fell to pieces. Uh, you know, capitalize on this. Is, is, that, a, is that a bad thing? thing? No, it isn't. We ask people to buy our shit all the time. No, we don't. We have merch (laughs) at HowieMandel.com. Do not go to HowieMandel.com because we don't want to capitalize on our merch. No. How much do you need? How much? How? Nothing. Nothing. Do not buy our merch. (laughs) Look at this shit. Get five dollars from Alex. I would want a Gizmo shirt, but not a Howie Mandel. Ooh, Bobby's World. I would buy a Bobby's really World shirt. Say, say what? Say what? I mean, if they go to buy your shirt, it should send them to my website. What's your website? It's ornyadams.com. How'd you come up with that? <laughs> I I fought hard. Orny H Orny. For <laughs> do you know the the uh, Gary Shandling story? Did I ever tell you this? No. So when websites were, for, I keep forgetting you're here because you're that uncharismatic. Well, this is the theme to Gary's show. This is the theme to Gary's show. The the Gary Shandling show. One of the. Uh, Best theme songs of all time. Like the party. I can remind you. I can remind you every ten seconds. You don't have okay. a mic near you. I, I agree. So <laughs> I, I can remind you every ten seconds. I said, uh, I said to Gary, uh, another guy that I fought with, like a brother, Gary. and loved Gary Shannon's community. I said to Gary, thank you. I said to Gary, I said you got to buy GaryShannon.com. He goes, why? I said, because if you don't buy it, somebody else will buy it, and they'll just put up, you know, men's penises. Mm-hmm. And Gary said, that's where I go. That's my what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary Shandling ahead of the curve. He was going to put Pekka's on his site. So just allowed the people to put Pekka's on GaryShandling.com. Speaking of uh, Pekka's, here we've got some more ASMR with some simulated cockstucking. And just like our other ASMRs, with her blowjob noises, something's happening there in her house to where she has got to mute this. Shut those damn kids up. Stop asking for mommy. Mommy is putting something phallic in her mouth to get 600,000 subscribers. Mouth noises part two, electric boogaloo. This time with something phallic in her mouth. So this one is better than the original. Didn't even need to put collagen in those lips to get them uh, nice and uh, cocksuckery. 
like our buddy Wawa, as seen over on Hackride's channel. <laughs> Island Girl taking Bonnie the Booby Lady's gimmick and doing it, just watching something. Uh, but the thing about Bonnie the Booby Lady is uh, that she wears no bra in a very cold room when she watches stuff. So we've got a fit girl with a, about a B cup there. Bonnie the Booby Lady does it better. Silent Girl. Oh, and speaking of Silent Girl, Wawa Baby not to be confused with Wawa, also does the silent thing better. So you're combining two gimmicks to come up with something kind of unique there. Actually, no. Bonnie the Booby Lady does it silent too. But she looks interested in what she's watching. Whereas Silent Girl doesn't look like she gives a fuck. Look this way, Silent Girl. You don't. You, there you go. Maybe you should put on something you enjoy watching. So serious. She doesn't look like she's having fun. But but the number of people are growing. It was two hundred something. Now it's three hundred something that were in here in this live. Ziggy is just a little weirdo. Ziggy's my name. I'm an artist, an actress, and just a friendly human. Listening to some classic music, taking me back to Looney Tunes' Ugly Duckling cartoon. Hang out and chat. If I charge my phone enough, I'll take you guys on an adventure and show you the woods near my house. <laughs> We're going to die in those woods, aren't we? Um, could you do stuff to us while you're killing us? Because if, if we're gonna die, some sex stuff while we're dying ain't that bad. Was Daffy Duck in that Ugly Duckling cartoon? I brought it up after I watched this, but, but I forgot to actually watch it. I brought up another window, got distracted. You're half asleep. Yes, please do chill to the music for a bit. Half asleep this at is 1.30 in the afternoon. I believe. <clears throat> Must be a third shifter. So, take it all in. Some chill Tchaikovsky. Do you remember the words right now? And now, some chill guitar. I don't know you, but I want to know where you want to go. I can feel it all Get out of here. I'm trying to see the pretty lady I've play guitar. We burn slowly. That show me more love than what I know. Okay, Tchaikovsky on this in a row can get so you sleepy. Even at 2.25 in the afternoon. I'm yours till a gray But spring is here and I need you now. It's less furious than the uh, Silent Girl, though. Feeling Putting some emotion into this. The Silent Girl... Very serious. Can you hurry up for it all gets loud? I do need to learn how to pick a drink. I need some extra talent for when uh, these beautiful look when they go. I feel like is Ooh, hippie jerk. Freeing. <sighs> you get to dirty learn a lot hippie. More stuff that way. Hey, Matthew, thank you so much. Got her hottest, dirty, hippie outfit on. You want to be off-grid? Well, you can start small. You can even just go for camping or something like that. You can get it in her hair, and she wouldn't even notice. Get a taste of it. 
Don't worry, you won't get a taste of it. It's all in your hair, and yeah, it's already a mess. You didn't even notice it got in your hair. Follow rules? Oh yeah, 100%. Definitely look up into like what your county allows. And as we know, uh, the town of Pound did not allow dancing. And uh, I do believe uh, that we're not going to be able to get uh, permits for the gangbang in Pound Town, Virginia. I've been looking into that. So it's something that when we meet for the gangbang in Pound Town, uh, we, we can't let the locals know. Uh, they're going to be very upset. They were upset about dancing and uh, inspired movie Footloose. Darling. We could inspire another loose movie about uh, Pound Town. I don't know. <laughs> Those are some good old westerns, though. Classic. I look amazing today. Thank you so much. It's girls' night. We're going out dancing. I was so excited. Yeah, even as a white girl with dreads, which is usually mm -hmm. really bad, you're looking all right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, it's been a fun time chatting you up. Um, but I think, you know, I'm going to hop off here. Maybe have some food. It's happening. You should have hopped a little bit for our entertainment. Like Anita really Fit Mom does. Here. We're getting all the way in. Ooh, yes. Jump all the way in, Anita Fit Mom. All right. It's not a fun job, but somebody has to do it. I love how you act like you're not doing this on purpose, Anita Fit Mom. And if I'm I just don't do doing it regular way, stuff. I have to empty the pond, which I don't want to do because it's not necessary right now. Absolutely. That last girl, you're right on, Italian Stallion. She was straight out of Waterworld. Yes, I, I never saw that, but it was such a big bomb, Kevin Costner's Waterworld. That uh, I I do recall that of getting getting dirty as you guys can see. <laughs> so off grid Misty, the fish person. Oh, very nice, Anita Fit Mom. Are we going to see off grid Misty in there getting her gills all full so she can go out to the club with her friends? I could have been making Waterworld jokes that whole time, and I missed it. Like nice catch, pound. Italian Stallion. Right. But now no jokes to be made. Uh, just a little whack material, as Anita Fit Mom always supplies us with. I got a little wet. <laughs> yes, Anita Fit Mom, you know what you're doing at all times. Give us that line again, please. Take two. I got a little wet. Did I make this hole? I did make this hole all by myself. Phrasing. Oh, I am a fan of your phrasing. One more time. I got a little wet. Did I make this hole? I did make this hole all by myself. Three holes just was not enough for our friend Anita Fit Mom. She had to make an extra hole. Thank you for being such a good person, thinking of all the men around. I dug it. I put the lining in. I stuck the rocks on. It's all me. Set a new gift goal. And now that you stuck the rocks in, let's get the rocks off. All right, guys, let's set a new gift goal. Poetry. It rhymes. Coming in with Bianca Alexander. Going out with Bianca Alexander. Anita Fit Mom's butt did make a really nice sundial. Anita Fit, Fit Mom's butt is great for so many tasks. M making up for Bianca Alexander's uh, butt, which is good. Uh, but uh, Anita Fitmom's uh, took us off the charts. Thank you for that mirror, Bianca Alexander. That is a major upgrade. 
as she dances to Mr. Blue Sky. I think that's a 300,000 balloons. So that appears to be a trend when you get several hundred thousand, get balloons and celebrate it. And this from uh, March 14th, you know, another half a month later, I bet she's up to 500,000 now. And we do need to start following these people on multiple formats. Get on the YouTube shorts, get on the Instagram shorts. I will salute those shorts. Bouncy, 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 yay! That's my favorite of your dance moves. And she knows. The Afro Sax Freakout by John Bartman was that uh, cool sax and Detroit is the Mr. Blue Sky track. And that was today's episode of TikTok Around the Clock. Thank you, folks, for joining. I still have a couple more uh, PSAs. Uh, which ones uh, didn't we go through? Oh, oh, I think just one more PSA that we didn't get through earlier. So well, why, why not uh, take us out with the final PSA that I pulled for yesterday's episode? And I couldn't see you. No one. Even when driving a car, he has got full camo on and his camo face paint. And he is admonishing those boys for not being able to see them. Dusty. Couldn't see you. No wonder you don't have reflectors. They tell drivers where you are. I see what you mean. Remember, if you have to ride when it's getting dark, have the right equipment. And wear bright clothes. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. T.I. Okay, now I do believe that we went through all of the PSA clips uh, between today's episode and yesterday's co-host audition with uh, Toddy, who looked frighteningly a lot like uh, Meg Griffin with a mustache. So um, next week, some more TikTok around the clock, another co-host audition, and successful failures on The Critic Season 1. Looking forward to talking about that. I am a big fan of that show, as can be seen by the critic drops that I have here. It stinks. That's what the network said about The Critic. It stinks. Two different networks said that about The Critic. Not me. I was quite a fan of The Critic. But, um, yeah, 13 episodes, canceled. 10 episodes, canceled. That is all for this week. I'll be back next week, uh, Tuesday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Maybe only two days. I've got uh, some dates lined up. A karaoke date, a writing date, which Hack Ride called me a nerd for. And that's absolutely right. It is a nerd date. And I didn't get in a shill segment. So that's what this is. We're going to take us out. Not with a cut off of Sting's album, uh, but with a shill segment where I thank you for joining and ask you to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when I do something uh, outside of the regular time slot or just to be reminded, hey, this fucking guy is live. Uh, that notification bell helps you do that. When you're subscribed, it'll show up in your feed, but it won't send you that little notice. Uh, chatting helps. Thank you for doing that. Leaving a comment after we're done also helps. I've got an email, Dylan from somewhere at gmail.com. If you would like to be a guest on Chatting with Beloved Chatters, uh, the show that's kind of going by the wayside because I'm kind of shitty at uh, booking guests. That's not my strong suit. Accumulating some. Uh, clips as i do on this show that is uh my special tag uh booking guests uh not as much but um yeah that was our chill segment uh thank you for joining be sure to join us uh next week tuesday through thursday unless i have a date and decide to take a day off i'll be here three days two days mm. gotta gotta get the personal life stuff in as well as the uh, fun little hobby stuff so uh, that is all for today. Thank you all so much for joining. Now feel free to go away. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for going on this adventure with me. It's fun being with friends. <laughs>
I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye for now. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Au revoir. Ciao. Ding dong there. Places all. All join hands, circle left. Now circle right and listen to me. LS, LS, MFT. Alimentary corners like swinging on a gate. To right, dear honey, with the right, left, eight. Grand right and left around you go. Lucky strike means find a back hole. Meet your honey and give her a whirl. All swing around with the little girls. Smoke them, smoke them, then you'll see. LS, LS, MFT. Promenade and don't you fall, promenade around the hall. Lucky strike is first again, first again with tobacco men. Promenade straight down the pike, it's time right now for a lucky strike. Yes, for smoking that you're bound to like, you just can't beat a lucky strike.